All right, today's video, I'm gonna share my study system that's helped me for the last four years to get all A stars in my A levels and now at university studying mechanical engineering. So the first one's planning. I use digital notes because it allows me to be so much more organized, have no paper. I just bring my iPad everywhere and I use OneNote, Notion and Anki as my three apps that I use. And the second thing is I use time blocking. So on the left, I do my time block and on the right, I just write down the to-do list. I want to get done for that day and if I don't get it done I move it onto the next page and each page has a day so that's what allows me to be more intentional um, I also write my to-do list on a bit of these things <laughs> um, that really helps me this is the most important step so before all my lectures I go over it by myself I make flashcards before lecture so I ask myself questions about the lecture slides and I answer it using YouTube using ChatGTP Recently, I've been using ChatGTP a lot to try and paste the information in and say, can you make quality flashcards? And it comes out with them. And I put that into Notion. This is the most important part because it helps me understand what I'm learning before I go into lecture and before I start to memorize the understanding. Why I do it in Notion is because it's very quick and you can add YouTube videos into it really easily. And really, I like the format of making flashcards on Notion because you can use a toggle feature and you can also do um, close deletion cards if you do command E and you leave the inside blank. So it's really quick and it makes it much easier than just adding flashcards into Anki. And then I view my lecture, I go to my lecture in person and I just sit there and I'd be present and try and get involved, try and ask questions I didn't understand when I reviewed it by myself. I just have my iPad open with the lecture slides and I just annotate over the things I think I've missed out when I made flashcards and things I need to make and put into that Notion page for my topic and that lecture. Alright, after I've gone to my lecture, I review my flashcards. So I've actually found that rereading notes isn't effective, um, highlighting notes isn't effective, but using flashcards, using active recall and link different concepts together so I convert my Notion page that I've now edited after my lecture into Anki by using the Notion to Anki website which is in the description so you have to export your page as an HTML file upload that into this web doc and then you download the Anki file and it becomes a deck so it's been really nice to do that recently. It removes a lot of the friction to make flashcards because I find it much easier in Notion. I review my flashcards with my controller on my iPad and I annotate it using a scratch by peach feature on the iOS app. Um, I found that to be really efficient to review it on my iPad because it's very light and I can just bring it and I can go outside and do my flashcards and stuff like that so it's really enjoyable. And doing it with a controller, this 8-bit dio, it makes it a game, it makes it fun and for me making studying a game makes me want to do it more. I do all my past papers on one note for maths whilst I do my lecture notes or whatever and it reduces the friction to do past papers because all I have to do is get my iPad, open OneNote and start annotating the past paper and just get it done. What's great about using OneNote is it syncs over perfectly to my computer so if there's a really hard maths question I got wrong I'll make a deck in Anki with the hardest questions and I'll put that into the Anki deck and review that before my final ex maths exam. Right and then let's get on to repeat. Um, how I repeat it on a daily basis is I try to make studying a habit. I've read this book called Atomic Habits, I really recommend it. And I've made studying easy and satisfying by trying making it a game, um, making it obvious where my desk is set up so it's frictionless and so I try and get all my information eventually in Anki so that that becomes the lead measure and all I have to do when I plan is just say, right, I need to just review my Anki flashcards when it comes to revising. Another thing is I've made a routine. Um, I try and do Anki in the morning and either on my phone um, when I have the free time because I've got the Anki app on my phone. So whenever I have like five minutes, I'll just open Anki and just start reviewing it. This leads me on to the final bit. At the end of the day, I make my plan for the next day and review what I got done. If I'm being consistent with the goals I want to achieve outside studying, like this YouTube channel. If I'm focusing on the main things like relationships, if I'm doing my exercise, am I sleeping well? Have I got good nutrition? Um, have I been outside today? Have I gone for a walk? And if I just 
reflect on the day and I think about those things. It allows me to not get burnt out even though I'm studying a lot. It allows me to follow the system, focus on the things inside my control and have a good mindset throughout it. Um, this whole reflecting process is what's really helped me probably the most because after reading Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, who's a famous Stoic, the biggest thing I took from this is that something can only affect you if you let it and um, the perceptions you hold upon things is really important and the only person that can change it is you and for me making this system to study in and following it and trusting in the process and taking responsibility every day has really helped me to reduce my stress levels and get more done, be more productive, be happier, be healthier. So if you like this video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one next week or something. Um, please give me a comment with any questions or recommendations for videos you would like to see and I hope to see you in the next one and good luck, hope this helps you and thank you very much for watching.